Hello, Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. No wrong, so, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer knows what he's doing, so. John Ashton, born on February 22, 1948, in Springfield, Massachusetts, is an American actor and director known for his memorable roles in film and television. With a career spanning over four decades, Ashton has built a reputation for portraying tough yet endearing characters, often blending humor with intensity. He gained widespread recognition in the 1980s for his role as Detective John Taggart in the hit film Beverly Hills Cop, 1984, alongside Eddie Murphy. His portrayal of the hard-nosed cop showcased his comedic timing and ability to hold his own against comedic legends. He reprised this role in the sequel, Beverly Hills Cop 2, 1987. Further solidifying his place in popular culture, Ashton has appeared in numerous television shows and films throughout his career, including notable appearances in The Six Million Dollar Man, Hill Street Blues, and The A-Team. His versatility allows him to transition seamlessly between drama and comedy, earning him respect in the industry, in addition to acting, Ashton has directed several projects, demonstrating his multifaceted talents in the entertainment world. His contributions to film and television have earned him a loyal fan base, and he is regarded as a skilled performer who brings depth and authenticity to his roles. John Ashton's enduring career reflects his dedication to the craft of acting and his ability to resonate with audiences. With his impressive body of work, he remains a beloved figure in American cinema and television, known for his dynamic performances and memorable characters. It's been that a communist dictators have been, have been in charge. Tony Lo Bianco, born on October 19, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, is an American actor and director known for his work in film, television, and theater. With Italian-American roots, Lo Bianco has frequently portrayed intense, gritty characters, often embodying police officers, gangsters, and complex figures in crime dramas. Lo Bianco's breakthrough came with his role in the critically acclaimed film, The French Connection, 1971, where he starred alongside Gene Hackman as Sal Boca, a shady character involved in drug trafficking. His performance garnered him recognition for his ability to bring depth and realism to his roles. He continued to build his reputation with roles in films like The Seven Ups, 1973, Blood Brothers, 1978, and City Heat, 1984. Working with some of Hollywood's top talents on television, Lubianco has made numerous appearances in well-known series, including Police Story, Law and & Order, and The Sopranos. His theater work has also been noteworthy, especially his portrayal of New York Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia, in the one-man show La Guardia, which he performed both on Broadway and around the United States. This role earned him a Drama Desk Award, showcasing his powerful stage presence and versatility. Beyond acting, Lobianco has worked as a director, further contributing to the arts. His enduring career, marked by memorable roles and dedication to authentic storytelling, has made him a respected figure in American cinema and theater celebrated for his portrayal of intense, often morally complex characters. Whitney Rydbeck is an American actor and educator, recognized for his character roles in film and television spanning from the 1970s through the early 2000s. Born on December 13, 1945, Rydbeck carved out a niche in the entertainment industry with his ability to bring a unique charm and humor to his roles. Often appearing in science fiction and comedy projects, Rydbeck's acting career includes memorable appearances in popular TV shows such as M. Ash, The Bob Newhart Show, and The Twilight Zone. His television work highlighted his range and knack for playing quirky or memorable supporting characters. In film, he is known for roles in projects like Battle Beyond the Stars, 1980, and Spaceballs, 1987 where he brought an enjoyable, often light-hearted energy to his performances. 
Beyond acting, Rydbeck has contributed to the arts through teaching, sharing his expertise with future actors and performers. His background in theater and television has made him a valued mentor, with a focus on helping students understand the craft and dynamics of performance. Whitney Rydbeck's career, marked by a steady presence in TV and film, reflects his versatility and commitment to his craft. His work as an educator further underscores his passion for acting, making him a respected figure not only on screen but also in the classroom. Known for his warmth and humor, Rydbeck continues to be appreciated by audiences and students alike for his contributions to entertainment and education. Wieteke van Dort, born on May 16, 1943, in Surabaya, Indonesia, is a Dutch actress, singer, writer, and comedian, known for her rich contributions to Dutch television, theater, and music. Raised in the Dutch East Indies, now Indonesia, she moved to the Netherlands with her family at a young age, an experience that would deeply influence her artistic work. Her multicultural background has shaped her unique approach to performance, and she is often drawn from her Indonesian heritage. Van Dort gained national fame in the 1970s through the popular Dutch children's television show, De Stratenmaker Opsi Show, where her comedic timing and versatility delighted audiences. She went on to become a beloved figure in Dutch entertainment, known for her comedic and musical talents. One of her most iconic roles is Tante Lien, a character she developed to celebrate and explore Indo-Dutch culture. In the character of Tante Lien, she hosted the program The Late Lien Show, blending humor, music, and social commentary, which resonated deeply with both Dutch and Indo-Dutch audiences. Apart from acting, Van Dort is a talented singer and songwriter, recording numerous songs that showcase her love for Indonesian music and culture. Her works often reflect themes of nostalgia, identity, and cultural heritage, bridging gaps between the Dutch and Indonesian communities. Witeka Van Dort's career spans several decades and mediums, and she remains a cherished figure in Dutch culture, celebrated for her artistry, humor, and dedication to multicultural storytelling. Teresa Gimpera, born on September 21, 1936, in Igualada, Catalonia, Spain, is a Spanish actress and model known for her work in European cinema during the 1960s and 1970s. Gimpera's career began in modeling, where her distinctive beauty and elegance quickly brought her success, making her one of Spain's top models of the era. She became a recognizable face in Spanish advertising and fashion, which soon led to her transition into acting. Her film debut came in the early 1960s, and she quickly established herself as a prominent figure in Spanish and European cinema. Gimpera was often cast in both Spanish films and international productions, working in a variety of genres, from drama to thrillers. Notable films in her career include The Hunting Party, 1971, and La Residencia, 1969, which showcased her acting range and on-screen presence. She worked with celebrated directors and co-stars, building a reputation as a talented and versatile actress. Throughout the 1970s, Gimpera continued to be a prominent figure in Spanish cinema, embodying a blend of glamour and depth. Her career also includes work in television and collaborations with well-known Spanish filmmakers. Despite reducing her screen appearances in later years, Gimpera remains a respected figure in Spanish film history. Teresa Gimpera's contributions to cinema and fashion, along with her iconic status as one of Spain's pioneering models turned actresses, have made her a memorable and influential personality in Spanish popular culture. Erica Ash, born on September 19, 1977, in Florida, USA, is an American actress, comedian, singer, and model, known for her dynamic performances across television, film, and theater. A multi-talented performer, Ash initially pursued a career in medicine before her interests shifted to the performing arts. After moving to Japan, where she worked as a backup singer and runway model, she returned to the United States to follow her passion for acting and comedy. Ash gained national attention as a cast member on Mad TV, where her quick wit and comedic range made her a standout. She later starred on the sketch comedy show The Big Gay Sketch Show, produced by Rosie O'Donnell, further showcasing her talent for impersonations and sketch characters. 
Her success in comedy led to significant roles in both television and film. In television, Ash is well known for her role as Mary Charles M. Chuck Calloway on the acclaimed Starz series Survivor's Remorse, where her portrayal of a tough yet vulnerable character earned her critical praise. She has also appeared in series like Real Husbands of Hollywood and Legends of Chamberlain Heights. Her film work includes roles in Scary Movie 5 and Jean of the Joneses. Adding to her versatility as an actress, Erica Ash's career reflects her range as a performer, with achievements in comedy, drama, and music. Known for her magnetic personality and dedication to her craft, she continues to be a respected and influential figure in entertainment, recognized for her humor, resilience, and talent. About how to get through a lot of these kinds of obstacles that life throws in your way, even when they're major and serious. Patty Yasutake, born on September 6, 1953, in Los Angeles, California, is a Japanese American actress best known for her role as Nurse Alyssa Ogawa in the iconic science fiction series Star Trek The Next Generation. With a career spanning film, television, and theater, Yasutake has made significant contributions to the entertainment industry often portraying intelligent and compassionate characters. Yasutake's early career included a variety of television appearances in popular shows like MacGyver, Magnum, P.I., and Murder, She Wrote. However, her breakthrough came with her recurring role as Nurse Ogawa on Star Trek The Next Generation, where she became a fan favorite. Her portrayal of a dedicated and empathetic medical officer working alongside Dr. Beverly Crusher on the USS Enterprise showcased her talent and made her a beloved part of the Star Trek universe. Yasutake reprised her role in Star Trek Generations, 1994, further cementing her place in the franchise's legacy. Beyond Star Trek, Yasutake has worked in film and theater, often taking roles that explore themes of family, culture, and resilience. Her dedication to accurate and meaningful representation of Asian Americans in the arts has made her a respected figure in the industry. Patty Yasutake's career reflects her commitment to portraying thoughtful, strong characters and advocating for diversity in Hollywood. Her role in Star Trek and contributions to theater and film have left a lasting impact on fans and audiences, celebrating her as a talented and trailblazing actress with a nameless offense. This seems really unjust and, and... Lex Marinos, born on February 1, 1949, in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales, Australia, is an accomplished Australian actor, director, and writer, known for his work across television, theater, and radio. Of Greek heritage, Marinos has been a prominent advocate for diversity in Australian media. With a career spanning over five decades, Marinos first gained widespread recognition in the 1970s and 1980s for his role as Bruno in the popular Australian sitcom, Kingswood Country. His portrayal of Bruno, an affable son-in-law in a culturally clashing family, was a pioneering role that brought Greek-Australian representation to mainstream television audiences. This role helped Marinos establish himself as a familiar and beloved figure in Australian entertainment. Beyond his comedic success, Marinos has appeared in a wide range of dramatic roles in series like City Homicide, The Slap, and Offspring, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He has also been active in theater, both on stage and as a director, working with major Australian theater companies. His radio work and contributions to Australian public broadcasting have further broadened his influence. In addition to acting, Marinos is a published author, with his memoir, Blood and Circuses, reflecting on his experiences as a Greek-Australian in the arts. A strong advocate for multicultural representation, he has worked tirelessly to promote cultural understanding in the industry. Lex Marinos's career is marked by his dedication to authentic storytelling and cultural representation, making him a respected and influential figure in Australian media and entertainment. Tante for, uh... Para nuestra historia, para nuestra cultura. Daniel Finego, born on March 30, 1949, in Buenos Aires, Argentina, is a renowned Argentine actor known for his powerful performances in film, television, and theater. With a career spanning over four decades, Finego has become one of Argentina's most respected and versatile actors, recognized for his ability to portray complex and often intense characters. Finego began his acting career in theater, 
where he quickly gained a reputation for his commanding stage presence and deep commitment to his roles. His work in Argentine theater established him as a talented actor capable of tackling both classical and contemporary plays, making him a significant figure in Buenos Aires' vibrant theater scene. Transitioning to film and television in the 1980s, Finego's career reached new heights with his performances in popular Argentine series and films. He starred in acclaimed movies like Carrancho, 2010, The Clan, 2015, and El Secreto de Sus Ojos, 2009, the latter of which won an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. His roles often showcase his range, allowing him to play everything from morally complex characters to sympathetic figures. In addition to acting, Finego has contributed to the Argentine arts as a director and educator, helping to mentor young actors and fostering talent within the industry. His commitment to storytelling, both on stage and screen, has made him a prominent figure in Latin American cinema and television. Daniel Fanego's career reflects his dedication to the craft of acting and his lasting influence on Argentine culture, earning him respect as one of the country's foremost actors. Akafan Nemart, known as Om, was born on January 31, 1985, in Khan Khan, Thailand, and is a well-known Thai actor and model celebrated for his roles in Thai television dramas. His career took off in the mid-2000s, and he quickly gained fame for his strong screen presence and versatile acting in romantic dramas and action series. Alm began his career in the entertainment industry as a model, which led to his entry into acting. His good looks and charm helped him secure lead roles in popular Thai TV dramas produced by Channel 7, one of Thailand's leading networks. Some of his most famous works include Prajan Lai Payak, 2010, Plurn Prom Tien, 2019, and Luc Mai Klai Tan, 2011, where he showcased his talent in both intense and romantic scenes, building a loyal fan base in Thailand and abroad. In addition to acting, Alm has been active in Thai media, appearing on variety shows, giving interviews, and participating in events that support his fan base and solidify his public image. Known for his dedication to his craft, he has earned awards and nominations. Reflecting his popularity and talent, Ohm's contribution to Thai entertainment has made him one of the most recognizable actors in the industry. His performances have not only won him fans domestically, but also internationally, making him a significant figure in the rising popularity of Thai dramas across Asia. His career reflects his passion and commitment to the world of Thai television and film. Uh, no. Roman Madyanov, born on March 22, 1962, in the city of Vologda, Russia, is a prominent Russian actor known for his versatility and compelling performances in film, television, and theater. He graduated from the Vivitis Theater School in 1984, beginning his acting career on stage before transitioning to screen roles that would earn him national recognition. Madianov gained fame in the 1990s with a series of notable performances in Russian cinema, particularly in films like The State Counselor, 2005, and The Fool, 2014. His ability to portray a wide range of characters, from intense dramatic roles to comedic parts, showcases his talent and adaptability as an actor. Madinov has worked with some of Russia's leading filmmakers, contributing to critically acclaimed projects that highlight his skill and depth. In addition to his film work, Madinov has had a significant presence on television, appearing in popular series that resonate with audiences. He is also known for his stage work, participating in various theatrical productions that further establish his reputation as a skilled performer. Medyanov's contributions to the Russian entertainment industry have earned him numerous accolades and a loyal fan base. His dedication to his craft and ability to connect with audiences through his performances have made him one of the most respected actors in contemporary Russian cinema. With a career spanning several decades, Roman Madyanov continues to captivate audiences with his dynamic acting and enduring presence in the arts. D'impôt sur le revenu à 100%. Mm. Enfin, Est-ce que vous vous rendez compte de... Françoise Hardy, born January 17, 1944, in Paris, France, is a beloved French singer, songwriter, and actress. 
known for her soulful voice, poetic lyrics, and iconic style. Hardy rose to fame in the early 1960s as part of the Ye Ye Pop movement in France, captivating audiences with her debut single, Tous les garçons et les filles. The song became a massive hit, launching her career and making her an international star. Her melancholic style and introspective lyrics distinguished her from her pop contemporaries, giving her music a timeless appeal. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Hardy's music evolved, incorporating folk, rock, and jazz influences. She collaborated with prominent musicians and producers, including Jack Dutronc, whom she later married, and Serge Gainsbourg. Albums like La Question, 1971, showcased her artistic depth and sensitivity, and songs like Le Temps de l'Amour have become classics in French pop music. In addition to her music, Hardy became a fashion icon, known for her chic and understated style that inspired designers and fans alike. Her influence extended into acting, with roles in films such as What's New Pussycat, 1965, adding to her cultural impact. Despite facing health challenges, Hardy continued to release music and publish memoirs, further solidifying her legacy. Her introspective lyrics, unique voice, and iconic presence have made her one of France's most enduring cultural figures, beloved for her elegance, authenticity, and poetic contribution to music and style. I play John Black on Days of Our Lives, and I'm here because we are so... Drake Hogeston, born on September 29, 1963, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, is an accomplished American actor best known for his long-running role as John Black, on the popular daytime soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Hojiston's journey into acting began while he was attending college, where he played football at the University of Arizona. His athletic background initially led him to a career in sports, but he soon discovered his passion for acting. Hogeston made his television debut in the early 1980s with appearances in various shows, but his breakthrough came when he joined Days of Our Lives in 1986. His portrayal of John Black, a character with a mysterious past, captivated audiences and quickly made him a fan favorite. Over the years, Hogeston has received numerous accolades for his work, including several Daytime Emmy nominations, solidifying his status as a prominent figure in daytime television. In addition to his work on Days of Our Lives, Hogeston has made guest appearances on other television series and participated in various film projects. He is known for his dedication to his craft and his ability to portray complex characters, earning him respect in the industry. Outside of acting, Hogeston is involved in charitable work and enjoys spending time with his family. His enduring career and contributions to the world of soap operas have made him a beloved personality among fans, and he continues to engage with audiences through his work in television. Yeah. La Commission et le Parlement démontrent leur présence. Claude Jevrec, born on February 15, 1949, in France, is a prominent French actor and filmmaker known for his extensive work in theater, television, and film. Jevrec's passion for the arts emerged early in his life, leading him to pursue a career in acting that would span several decades. He began his professional journey in the 1970s, initially performing in various theater productions where he honed his craft and developed a strong stage presence. His talent quickly caught the attention of filmmakers, and he made his screen debut in French cinema, appearing in a variety of roles that showcased his versatility as an actor. Throughout his career, Gewerk has collaborated with renowned directors and worked on numerous acclaimed projects. His filmography includes a range of genres, from dramas to comedies, reflecting his adaptability and dedication to storytelling. Some of his notable works include appearances in films like The Return of the Tall Blond Man with One Black Shoe, 1972, and Les Miserables, 1982, which helped solidify his reputation in the industry. In addition to his acting career, Jewark has also taken on roles behind the camera as a director and producer, contributing to various film and television projects. His commitment to the arts and passion for performance have made him a respected figure in French entertainment. Claude Gewerk continues to be celebrated for his contributions to theater and cinema, and his work remains influential in the French arts community, showcasing his enduring talent and creativity throughout his career. 
plusieurs années que je me prépare puisque euh... Nathalie Antona, born on January 1, 1982, in São Paulo, Brazil, is a talented Brazilian actress and model, known for her work in television and film. Growing up in a vibrant cultural environment, Antona developed an early passion for the performing arts, which led her to pursue a career in acting. She began her professional journey in the early 2000s, making her mark in the Brazilian entertainment industry with her captivating performances and striking looks. Antona gained recognition for her roles in various Brazilian soap operas, including Malasão and Avenida Brasil, where she showcased her acting range and ability to connect with audiences. Her work in these popular shows helped her build a substantial fan base and establish herself as a prominent figure in Brazilian television. In addition to her television career, Antona has appeared in several films, further demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Her film credits include diverse genres, allowing her to explore different characters and narratives. Nathalie is also known for her work in modeling, collaborating with various brands and participating in fashion events. Beyond her artistic endeavors, Antona is actively involved in social causes, using her platform to raise awareness about important issues. Her dedication to her craft and her commitment to making a positive impact in society have earned her respect in the industry. Nathalie Antona continues to be a prominent figure in Brazilian entertainment, celebrated for her talent, charisma, and contributions to both film and television, as well as her philanthropic efforts. Sika Enoai, born on November 5, 1945, in Pago Pago, American Samoa, is a retired American professional wrestler, best known for his time in the World Wrestling Federation, now WWE, as one half of the legendary tag team The Wild Samoans. Sika is a member of the famous Enoai wrestling family, which includes notable wrestlers like his brother Afa and his sons, Roman Reigns and Rosie, Sika began his wrestling career in the early 1970s, quickly gaining recognition for his imposing presence and fierce in-ring style. He teamed up with his brother Afa in 1973, and together they formed the Wild Samoans, a formidable duo that captivated audiences with their unique personas and powerful wrestling skills. The team won multiple tag team championships in various promotions, including the WWF Tag Team Championship in the 1970s. Beyond his success as a tag team wrestler, Sika also had a successful singles career, competing against some of the biggest names in wrestling history. His contributions to the sport extended beyond the ring, as he played a significant role in training the next generation of wrestlers, helping to foster talent within the industry. After retiring from active competition, Sika focused on his family and business ventures. He remains a respected figure in the wrestling community and is often celebrated for his legacy as part of the Anoa'i family. Sika Anoa'i's impact on professional wrestling continues to be felt, and he is regarded as a pioneer of the sport. Jackie Clarkson, born on November 23, 1941, in New Orleans, Louisiana, is a notable American politician and former member of the New Orleans City Council. Clarkson has had a significant impact on local politics, community service, and advocacy throughout her career. Her journey in public service began in the 1970s when she became involved in local issues, focusing on community development and social justice. She served as the executive director of the Louisiana Council on Human Relations where she worked to address civil rights issues and promote equality. Clarkson's commitment to her community and her passion for public service led her to run for office. In 1986, she was elected to the New Orleans City Council, representing District C. During her tenure, Clarkson was known for her dedication to urban development, public safety, and environmental sustainability. She played a key role in various initiatives aimed at improving the quality of life for New Orleans residents, particularly in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Clarkson's leadership and advocacy earned her numerous accolades and recognition within the community. She has also been actively involved in various civic organizations and initiatives, continuing to champion the causes she is passionate about. After leaving the city council in 2010, Clarkson has remained an influential figure in New Orleans, participating in community events and advocating for local issues.
Jackie Clarkson's legacy is marked by her commitment to public service and her efforts to foster positive change in her community. Elizabeth McRae, born on February 22, 1936, in Asheville, North Carolina, is an accomplished American actress known for her work in television and film during the 1960s and 1970s. She developed an interest in acting at a young age and pursued her passion by studying drama at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. McRae gained recognition for her roles in several popular television series. She is best known for her portrayal of Luann Poovey on the classic sitcom Gomer Pyle, USMC, which aired from 1964 to 1969. Her character was a sweet and charming love interest to Gomer Pyle, played by Jim Neighbors, and she became a beloved figure on the show. In addition to Gomer Pyle, she appeared in various other television series, including The Andy Griffith Show, The Monkees, and The Twilight Zone. Showcasing her versatility as an actress, Beyond television, McRae also appeared in films, including The Wild Angels, 1966, and The Horse Soldiers, 1959, where she demonstrated her talent in both comedic and dramatic roles. After her acting career, McRae shifted her focus to raising her family, but she remains active in the entertainment community, participating in fan conventions and sharing her experiences from her acting days. Elizabeth McRae's contributions to television and film have left a lasting impression, and she continues to be remembered fondly by fans of classic television. This is CNN Breaking News. Wendy Williams, born on July 18, 1964, in Asbury Park, New Jersey, is an American television host, businesswoman, and author, best known for her candid and often controversial talk show, The Wendy Williams Show. Williams began her career in radio, gaining notoriety as a shock jock for her outspoken commentary on celebrity gossip. She eventually transitioned to television, where her bold personality and unique style resonated with audiences, leading to the launch of her talk show in 2008. Over the years, The Wendy Williams Show became a platform for celebrity interviews, pop culture discussions, and lifestyle segments. Williams's unfiltered approach won her numerous awards, including multiple Daytime Emmy nominations. In addition to her television career, she has authored several books, including her autobiography, Wendy's Got the Heat, which provides insight into her life, struggles, and triumphs. In recent years, Wendy Williams has faced significant health challenges that have impacted her career. In 2019, she announced that she had been diagnosed with Graves' disease, an autoimmune disorder affecting the thyroid, which can cause symptoms like anxiety, weight loss, and fatigue. This diagnosis led to her taking extended breaks from her show, prompting concerns about her health and well-being. In 2021, Williams's struggles became more pronounced when she was reportedly hospitalized for mental health issues, further raising alarms about her health. By early 2022, it was announced that she would not return to her show for its 14th season, with guest hosts filling in during her absence. Despite these challenges, Williams remains a resilient figure in the entertainment industry. Her story continues to inspire many, reflecting the importance of mental health awareness and the ongoing journey of recovery. As of now, Wendy is focused on her health and well-being, prioritizing her recovery while fans eagerly await her return to the screen. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.